Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel, Lunar Moon Tarot. So Scorpio, I am here to give you guys, um, you know, it's a mid-month and Valentine's Day, mid-month Valentine's Day energy update kind of energy thing, <laughs> right? So let's just check your energy from now until the end of February, which includes Valentine's Day, right? Look, somebody's watching you wanting to apologize, Scorpio. Um, anyway, this reading, it's for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Um, just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. Don't try to squish it into your world. And thank you, Scorpio, for all of your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps everybody, really. You're helping other people. You're, when you like a video, it helps get the video out to others. So the so the messages can help them when you drop a comment you're relating your story with the stories of others and you don't know how healing that is it really is so thank you for everything that you guys do that helps everybody keep growing okay all right divine what can you show me for scorpio valentine's day february energy what can you show me for scorpio what messages do you have for Scorpio? Feeling like somebody's cutoff game is, is really, really awesome. Like really strong cutoff game. Um, like cutting people out of your world. I feel like you've been doing a lot of that, Scorpio. Yeah, because you're high vibing um, and you're very independent right now. Single. I'm seeing single people here um, doing something that's all you, a creative project maybe that's becoming very abundant, right? Um, doing a lot of healing on your own. I, maybe you just want to be alone right now. Kind of feel like you want to be alone and just focus on your work, you know, and your talents and heal, okay? I feel like you have some healing to do. Because there's a, somebody who's married that's kind of upside down here. So you could be dealing with someone who's married or you could be or already committed, right? Um, in a commitment. Or you could be dealing with um, you could be dealing with an earth sign. They're out in the cold here. They're, they're, they followed somebody else out in the cold. This person, for a king of pentacles here, who's usually good with their finances, I feel like they're having a lot of financial trouble right now. I feel like this person is um, possibly even in bad health, really upside down in their life and feeling very stuck. But, but see this halo around them? They're getting some kind of clarity, major clarity, but you're, you're out here in the public eye with star energy, maybe putting yourself out there, healing, okay, healing and shining really bright. You're high vibing here, but I feel like you're just, you're taking this time to be alone and work on your, you know, your abundance and whatever project you've got going on. Some of you could be artists. Um... Whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing it with love, and it's making you feel good, okay? And they're over here. I feel like they're watching you from a situation that is completely backwards. I, I, don't, I don't even know how else to say it. It just feels backwards to me because I feel like this person, you and them, should be hooked up. You know what I mean? But they're out in the cold. They followed somebody else. They feel stuck. All right, what else can you show me for Scorpio? Clarify this Ten of Pentacles, please. Yeah, with their, look, with their One Pentacle and your Nine Pentacles together, you guys could have a beautiful, freaking solid relationship. That's the Ten of Pentacles right there. Okay, this person may not think that they even have enough to offer you, um, they're having a lot of financial issues right now. They know, though, if they made you the right offer, if the right offer comes to you from the right in the right way from the right person, 
you're going to have this this solid commitment to be able to build empires here. Um, you're an empress energy over here, but you're single. This person knows it. Like with you, with their pentacle, with their offer, and your nine pentacles together, it would make that ten of pentacles. But the problem is, is they feel very stuck wherever they are with whoever they followed out in the cold here. Yeah. Whoever they followed out in the cold, too, they do not want this person to watch you, but I feel like they watch you fiercely. <laughs> I do. I feel like they watch you, um, but they don't talk to you. Like, they're not speaking. You guys are not talking. No communication here. Um, but, yeah, I feel like they kind of are borderline obsessed with this idea of building something solid with you. But whoever they're with doesn't really want them to talk to you, okay? Or look at you or anything, really. If they do, it's on the down low. Um, yeah, this person wants to work on things with you, I feel. I mean, they could have a business maybe that's going under, uh, that they want to change things around. But I, I really feel like... Um, a new page needs to be turned here, and they they want to come back around. They want to do whatever they can. They this person wants to work on things with you, but they they feel stuck with someone else and out in the cold, wanting to take action, but they've waited too long. Waited too long. You know, I feel like things have come to an end here in this connection. You know, this is the temperance angel here. They're usually mixing two soulmate connection, like a soulmate connection up, right? These two of cups here. But I feel like it's coming to an end because your person just, they, they stand here and they wait. Maybe they're waiting for communication from you, but you're not talking. You're pretty quiet and focused on your own stuff. Um, so yeah, this is coming to an end if they don't take some kind of action. You know, I've got stagnancy here. I've got waiting around here. I feel like the divine is telling this person, giving them messages, signs, synchronicities, that this soulmate connection is going to come to an end if this person doesn't speak up or take some kind of action towards you. It's done. Because you, in this energy here, you don't really need anything. You don't need anyone. Okay, the right offer would be great, but right now in this energy, though, you've got everything that you need already. You're very independent and high vibing, and you're a healer and empath. I, I feel like um, you're okay alone. You're okay on your own. You're independent, and, um, and you're happy, and you're working on something that's flourishing for you, okay? Um, so yeah, the temperance angel is showing this person all of this and they're like, um, yeah, this is going to be done unless you take some action. Defend this connection. Defend this if that's what you want because this person's moving forward. Yeah, because you're moving forward and the divine is this temperance angels out here trying to mix you guys back up like a dude. You got to get off your butt, stop waiting around, take some action, defend this connection, defend what it is that you want. You're going to have to defend this. Okay? And your person's like, oh. Yeah. They're just really all up in their emotions right now, but hiding it, feeling ashamed, right? Because they made a bad decision. Look, they made a bad decision. They stood in between a decision, and what hung in the balance was this one cup right there. That was the Ace of Cups. That was a blessing from the Divine, okay? The Ace of Cups is unconditional love, man. It's a chance, an opportunity that doesn't come around all the time. And this person had it in their hands, and they freaking tossed it for something that brought them nothing but blood and sand and out in the cold, in poverty, and possibly bad health. 
because they turn their back on that blessing. Those same two cups are the ones that the temperance angel, the angels are trying to mix up. And they're telling your person, look, if you don't take action, and what, because they're in a lot of regret here for turning their back on you. A lot of regret. They're all up in their emotions. And the divine is trying to tell them, buddy, if you don't defend this and take some action and do what you can to change this around. That Scorpio, my battery died. Yeah, if they don't do something to change it around, it's going to end here. And you know why? Because like I said, Scorpio, I feel like you're cutting people out to focus on you, people that don't give you anything. And this person isn't giving you anything. Okay? They're in regret about it, but they haven't taken action yet, and they've got to do the right thing. They need to defend you. They need to defend this connection and their stance on this. And if they don't, your cutoff game is superb. Very strong cutoff game, Scorpio. It, this will end. Like a Scorpio. This will, uh, you will end it just like, like Scorpio style, right? So, yeah, they got to put on their best duds. This is what the divine is telling them. You go, you wash your car, or you buy a new horse, right? Cover up that crap with something. Put a new hat on, right? Get yourself a new pair of boots, a new pair of tights, and a little jacket. And you put a wreath on this wand, and you go get that gal, right? You go now, because you're being a fool about this. You're being a fool about this. Take a leap of faith. Take a risk. You know, that's another thing with this temperance angel. That temperance angel's dipping her toe in the water, see? One toe is out on the rock, grounded, stable. The other one is dipped in. The temperance angel always tells me, like, you know what? Just take a shot and see what happens. Go for it. See what happens. See what can happen if you take a leap of faith right so go put on your best your sunday best duds man and go get that gal okay um that's what that's what uh the divine is telling this person here around valentine's day you know february the month of february right the rest of it yeah and go and apologize you go and apologize and make this right you got to take some action this is the first step this is the first step in taking that action. Go in, take a little bit of a risk, buddy. You're feeling like a fool. You're acting a fool. So now, you know what? Take that leap of faith. Take a risk. Go in there. See what happens, right? And apologize the right way. That's what you're telling you. They're telling your person to do this. Otherwise, I feel like the divine won't have to end it. You will. Scorpio style. Anyway, Scorpio, listen, that's what I've got for your reading. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Just a really quick check-in for Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, I feel like this person, just know, they're being pushed. They're being pushed to take this risk, take a leap of faith. This person may come in on Valentine's Day or shortly after and uh, give you that apology that you want. I feel like they're going to take that risk, Scorpio. Anyway, um, guys, if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, right? Become a new Mooney. Join the family of Moonies. <laughs> and until next time, Scorpio, take care of you and peace out.